Thanks so much for joining us at 11. I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Rod Carter. Tonight, there's new reaction to bombshell allegations against Republican gubernatorial candidate and current Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson. Yeah, we're hearing from the state GOP and closely watching a looming deadline. Robinson has less than an hour to decide whether he stays in the race for governor amid political pressure from some to drop out. And first tonight, let's break down the allegations against Robinson that led to this point. So CNN was first to report that Robinson made comments on a porn site called Nude Africa prior to his becoming uh, in uh, getting into politics, I should say. Some of the comments were lewd and sexual in nature, and the report claims Robinson referred to himself as a, quote, black Nazi. Comments from the account that CNN linked to uh, mention also, quote, slavery is not bad, and, quote, I would certainly buy a few. Those are Robinson's alleged words. Now, shortly after CNN released the report, Politico reported that Robinson's personal email address is registered on Ashley Madison. That is the online platform for married people seeking affairs. CBS 17 has not independently verified the authenticity of the social media post, but the lieutenant governor denies the CNN report. Those are not the words of Mark Robinson. You know my words, you know my character, and you know that I have been completely transparent in this race and before. Uh, folks, this race right now, our opponents are desperate to sit, shift the focus here from the substantive issues and focus on what you are concerned with to salacious tra tabloid trash. We cannot allow that. Robinson's Democratic opponent for governor is Josh Stein. Stein's campaign had this to say in response to the allegations. North Carolinians already know Mark Robinson is completely unfit to be governor. Now, all of this is happening as ballots are set to go out to military and overseas voters tomorrow. CBS 17's Galat Malaman is live in Raleigh with the impacts this could have on the election. Galat. The expert I spoke to expects races beyond Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson's to see more of an impact from the CNN story. That CNN report says Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson called himself a black Nazi and a perv and described secretly peeping on girls in the shower. The comments surfacing six and a half weeks out from Election Day. I asked NC State political science professor Stephen Green. What type of impact, if any, do you think this is going to have on the governor's race? Well, I mean, to be honest, it already looked like he was well on the path to losing this election. It seems to me this now just makes it pretty much near impossible for him to pull out a win. Green says if the online comments impact other races, it's more likely to be a handful of close state legislature contests, not the race for president. I just think people have such strong opinions on the presidential race. Green says the more interesting unknown is what impact Robinson dropping out would have, something the lieutenant governor says he will not do. We are staying in this race. We are in it to win it. Releasing this video statement before the article came out. Now, let me reassure you, the things that you will see in that story, those are not the words of Mark Robinson. When a reporter knocked on the door of his Greensboro home, no one answered. Republican Scott Lassiter is running for state Senate in Wake County and wants Robinson to drop out. If these recent allegations against our lieutenant governor um, are true, combined with, with previous other public rhetoric, I think it is time for him to step aside. So, uh, very concerned. Treasurer Dale Falwell ran against Robinson in the primary. As for whether he thinks Robinson should step aside. Well, that's going to be Mark Robinson's decision. But uh, as I've said repeatedly, uh, anyone who's, it seems everyone, anyone who's ever come in contact with him has been fleeced. We called and emailed several other top state Republicans for their response. Mrs. Gilat Malamed calling from CBS 17. In a statement, Senator Ted Budd's press office says the comments reported in the article are disgusting. Mark Robinson says they are not from him. He needs to prove that to the voters. The state GOP saying in part, Mark Robinson has categorically denied the allegations made by CNN, but that won't stop the left from trying to demonize him via personal attacks, saying if voters are focused on policy, Republicans will win on election day. Several Democratic lawmakers saying it's not the first time Robinson's had troubling comments. He has continued to show himself um, as someone that, you know, on the trail uh, is, you know, uh, inflammatory, uh, you know, spews vitriol and trying to get off the balance, trying to get off the ballot is not is not going to save you. Again, Robinson says he will stay in the race. If he changes his mind, he has until 11.59 p.m. to withdraw. The state Republican Party will then choose his replacement, but Robinson's name could remain on the ballot. Live in Raleigh, Gulat Malamed, CBS 17 News. All right, Gulat, thank you so much.